Hello, my soccer universe. Finally, there was some drama at the expense of South America and pro African teams um, wearing Cameroon. Uh, we'll talk about them shortly. Yes, this Women's World Cup games uh, schedule was a little bit weird because all the uh, TV stations that where I can watch actually are showing the games between the teams that are already qualified for the next round. Namely, it was Canada against the Netherlands, or Netherlands against Canada, Canada um, and Sweden against the US. Uh, which to a degree is understandable because those are more the glamour teams, but the real drama was with the other games. Um, namely, uh, Cameroon versus New Zealand and uh, Thailand against Chile. Let's start in Group E. Very quickly the game uh, between the um, Netherlands and Canada. Um, I think it was relatively even in the first half. In the second half, um, I mean, there was a claim for a penalty for Canada, which was then overturned because the foul obviously uh, occurred outside of the box. Um, second half, uh, there is um, a free kick uh, between the corner flag and the box. Uh, that uh, comes in, into the box and Decker heads home in the 54th, sending the Dutch fans uh, jubilant. However, the lead was not to last long. There was already a few chances I, I saw in most of the second half. There were, can, can, kind of seemed uh, dangerous, hey, could have equalized sooner, but in the end it's Sinclair in the 60th uh, that gets the equalizer. She scores in her fifth consecutive World Cup, similar to Marta, but not quite the scoring rate. And at that point, still the Dutch are um, ahead um, in the standings, but you were kind of... I always had the feeling that Canada is hitting back, although the Dutch were playing better despite Lika Martens not having a great tournament. Um, and uh, Martens comes off, Berenstein comes on, and she gets the winner in the 75th minute. Uh, nicely played through ball. Uh, cross in and she can slot it home and it's a 2-1 to the Netherlands who win the third game and probably this was their most convincing win of the uh, three that they got. Canada finishes second in this group. However, Cameron against New Zealand, that was where the drama was, was at. Um, both needed a win to have a chance. Uh, for Cameroon, um, a 1-0 win would send them in a tie with Nigeria. 2-1 win will, uh, or any higher win would uh, put them ahead of Nigeria. So uh, some inner African rivalry there. And yeah, Cameroon, it was mostly Cameroon in that one. Uh, at least what I could tell from the highlights. Um, Nshut gets a really nice goal uh, in the 57th. Unfortunately, and they looked actually safe. There was a sequence of, uh, I think, four or five chances in one sequence where Cameroon should have made the second goal. And then uh, a misjudged clearance by Avona gets the equalizer for New Zealand. At that point, this doesn't help anyone uh, except Argentina, who would need two uh, draws between those minor games. And it was only until the 95th when Nshut again dribbles through the box and slots it home in with the last kick of the game to give Cameron not only the win, but also the ticket for the next round. Great drama there. This was really a 95th minute winner, 95th minute winner. The only thing that could have been better is if New Zealand also was kind of in there a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of... Uh, knocked out Argentina at that point. So, but I think they didn't have too many high hopes anyway. Group F, again, similar story, Sweden, United States. Uh, the States get a very quick goal through Horen, only minor chances for uh, Sweden. And then um, in, early in the second half, again, um, it seemed like it was Tobin Heath, but it was deflected by Anderson over the goalkeeper from a pretty acute angle. Makes it two 0 for the States, and both teams shut it down. I mean, they have already shut, shut, shut down after the one 0 because um, the States saw that they don't, uh, they can go with a little bit less uh, effort in there because Sweden really couldn't do much. 
it was all about Thailand, Chile. And that was all about Chile, to be honest. Chile hit, and it was almost the exact same shot, uh, twice the angle of the woodwork in the first half. They finally get their breakthrough. Um, again, the shot hit the post, but it goes to the, uh, to the Thai goalkeeper and into the net. 48th minute on goal. Chile needs a three goal win uh, to be uh, to advance ahead of Nigeria. If they don't get that, they're out. Urrutia then uh, heads its home in the 80th and there's hope for Chile. Chile throws everything forward, they even get a penalty, but the way the game went, Lara steps up and hits the bar. And Chile is out. Absolute drama. I mean, um, if you would have, have asked without seeing any, anything, who would I prefer in these games, I would have said clearly Chile, uh, Chile goes down over Nigeria. When I saw the chances that they had, I, got a, I have to say I feel with uh, Chile a little bit. On the other side, Nigeria probably could have gotten a draw against France to be not worried at all. Anyway, so this eliminates Chile. So the ranking of the third place teams, we knew that Brazil and China are through, Cameroon and Nigeria are through, and Chile and Argentina are out. So African delight, South American misery. This sets now the following uh, round of 16 matchups, um, especially the bracket. We have first quarter Norway, Australia, England, Cameroon, then second uh, quarter in France, Brazil, Spain, United States. That's a very loaded, at least from the names, a very loaded uh, part. Then Italy, China, Netherlands, Japan in the third quadrant. Europe against uh, Asia, in a way. I'm gonna. It's gonna be in, in, interesting how this will go. Um, I have a feeling it might be Netherlands, China, but uh, we'll see. I would hope that Netherlands, Italy, that would be a nice matchup. And then the last quadrant is Germany, Nigeria, and Sweden, Canada, which would at least set up a nice quarterfinal. Uh, if you ask me, the upper half is loaded uh, with a United States, France um, quarterfinal, United States or France against England semifinal. I mean, those are three top favorites right there, whereas the lower half, it seems like a relatively easy route for Germany. I mean, yes, you have to go through Sweden and Canada, and potentially the Dutch are in there. I mean, I don't know what Japan will show, um, but the lower part seems a lot easier. Um, games start next Saturday. We'll start with Germany, Nigeria. And it ends with Netherlands, Japan. Uh, of course, the big game will the big games will be Sunday, France against Brazil, and yeah, I think Spain, United States, and Sweden, Canada. Though those are also quite interesting matchups. Netherlands, Japan uh, is a sleeper, only because um, Japan has not been showing up that much at this World Cup. But you know, maybe they just need the excitement of the knockout games to really go forward. In any case, the Women's World Cup is heating up. Uh, yesterday, I wish I would have seen a little bit more of those lower games, uh, because especially the uh, Sweden-USA game was not all that great. But yeah, African delight. Gonna see where it goes for the African teams. Probably not very far, but uh, it's a big success that they made it to the next stage. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.